Welcome everyone. In today's video, I wanted to talk about Solend, which is a money market protocol live on Solana. So if you're familiar with Aave or Compound on Ethereum, you should be familiar with how Solend will work. So essentially, you can come to Solend, deposit collateral, and then earn a supply APY. If you're depositing Solana, you will get 1% a year APY. USDC is currently paying 14.86% APY. But the reason I wanted to talk about Solend today is because they are doing a retroactive reward program, meaning that if you've used Solend in the past, you've supplied or you've borrowed, you should be able to see this tab up right here. And that will show you how many Solend tokens you'll be eligible for once they do their token generation event. So I didn't use Solend that much, but I did use it a bit. So I'm eligible for 2.861 Solend tokens. Now, Solend is one of the protocols that I mentioned in a previous video talking about airdrops available on Solana. So just make sure to go out and use all the decentralized finance protocols available because there is a good chance that you'll be airdropped free money in the future. Additionally, they're running a liquidity mining program right now, but you won't be able to claim the tokens they e-liquidity mine until they do their token generation event of which they haven't done an announcement for yet. So the full tokenomics and what the token will do will be released in the future and I'm sure I'll update you guys on that. But in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Solend Finance. So currently right now you're getting paid to supply and you can also earn Solend tokens via borrowing. So I'll show you guys right now I'll deposit some Solana and then borrow some USDC against it. So I'll deposit one now, supply one soul, and then I will be able to get 0.0063 Solend tokens per day if I do this. Confirm this transaction. And that's done. I've supplied one soul. So over here on the right hand side, we can see assets supplied. I've supplied one soul and I'm getting 1.06% APY um, in returns for doing so. Now, if I wanted to borrow some USDC, we click here, press borrow, and I'm only able to borrow up to $147 right now, but I'll be paying 17.58% borrow APY for doing so. So whilst I do have to pay a borrow APY for borrowing this USDC, I'm also getting sole end tokens for doing so. So every day I'll get 0 0.0032 sole end tokens for keeping this borrow open. So if you are looking to accumulate tokens and do some liquidity mining, you should definitely deposit some collateral over here and start borrowing. So if I borrow this and I press approve on this transaction, And there we go. Under assets borrowed, we should see USDC, the rate at which I will have to pay, which is currently 17.58%. So now I'm just going to show you guys how you can pay back your debt and withdraw any collateral as well. So if I go over to assets borrowed, click on the tab and press repay. Repay, repay back all the USDC. Okay, so now to withdraw my Solana that I supplied, I need to click on the asset supplied and then withdraw. So there we go, I've repaid all my debts on Solan Finance and withdrawn my collateral. Make sure to go to Solan and check to see how much Solan Finance tokens you're eligible for, as well as the fact that you can go here and start liquidity mining if you want to, but just know you won't be able to claim your rewards for a few months. So in this video, there have been no fancy uh, yield farming strategies, just use the protocol normally like you would any other money market. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.